have to wait there? Uh, no. You want me to let go? Yeah. So why do you put that last little uh, mini leany on there? This is half a safety. So the bungee won't come off the handle. They really need to invent or come up with a, a threaded system here so you can put an eye, eye hook in there. So can you tell me a little bit more about this uh, rig you got going? Well, the <clears throat> this is a poor man's insert car, if you will. And uh, the operator will sit back here and he's going to be leading some cyclists in this instance. And uh, so this here is a, a bungee cam which is secured by the suction cup, which is a heavy duty suction cup. This is about, can hold about 150 pounds. And uh, this enables the operator to, to be able to basically maneuver the camera easily without having to take the weight on, catch up. saves their back catch up. and makes it a little more efficient so how do you keep the uh, how do you keep the um, the back door from slamming down so the the, I came up with these two minnellinis and I put these on these little uh, right here on their uh, the hydraulic um, uh, whatever these push are. arms or push arms yeah that way this can't come down at all car is Pass us, Arif. Go ahead and pass, pass, pass Stefan. Pass Stefan. Okay. And then can you show me uh, the side door action? Yeah, sure. So, same theory here. This is uh, Except for I gave the operator a uh, little foot rest, and then we put the bungee up here on this piece of speed rail uh, for the same reason. It's easy to maneuver the camera, it takes the weight off, enables the operator to uh, get his shots more freely. So, and how'd you get that foot rest on there? Uh, simply just ratchet strapped this uh, oh, that's right, that's speed rail cage that I made on around the vehicle. Just sucked it up to the frame. It's quick and easy. So you made like a rectangle out of uh Yeah, speed exactly. Rail. And then just ratchet it with uh, two ratchets. Yeah. And then this is just a single uh, eight piece, foot. Yeah, single eight foot piece of speed rail that will hold the camera. Cool. Look behind us. Uh, okay, Matha uh, 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 can you go ahead of us? All right, we'll, pass we'll, us. We'll, pass us and, and Stefan. Stefan. Come yeah, on yeah, up. Yeah. Wait, 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 Stefan. Yeah. Don't we'll pass back. us, Stefan. We okay. want to be on you for a moment. So here we have the, uh, the age-old side mount, which still gets used, was invented many years ago. This is Modern Studios version. Um, I anodize mine just because that's what I like to do. It's easy to identify. And um, this is just to give the operator, the DP, the ability to throw a camera on the uh, passenger side or on the driver's side in this case and get a profile uh, on the driver and uh, this simply is held by a couple of ratchet straps down to the chassis of the of the uh, car and it has these two feet and it this is the strongest point on this piece of metal right here so I try to go to those so that way it doesn't bend the door when you suck in these ratchet straps the nice thing about the side mount is is that it affords you this cheese plate and what that can do is now you can move your ball head which you can see which helps you focus or I shouldn't say focus but position the camera the way you want it 
and then you can move that on top of this plate all around. The only bummer with this is that uh, if you want a reflection or something, uh, the windshield is down, so then you'd have to approach it a different way. Um, but that said, that's a that's a different story for a different day. And uh, you simply just ratchet strap this to the undercarriage of the car. Um, find two secure points or more secure points if you wish. And then typically you'll use I use suction cups to triangulate the camera, and uh, that. Um, gives you a nice stable shot and so that's a simple side mount. There's a slider inside the car, and uh, that we simply just put used it, uh, put that on the armrest, and that gave uh, the operator uh, a, a positioning inside the car where it was more profile but closer up, and then he could move the camera forward or back and give him some different angles. That starts to work. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh.